Hello everyone, how you doing today? I'm here today to show you guys a Lenovo 2017 Lenovo that I just got in today and a client brought it in and the client was saying like he, as soon as he was doing some gaming on this and then it would just freeze even if he was doing a like a some kind of task in here processing and it would freeze too and I did go ahead and open it up and check it inside and I wanted to show you guys why these laptops are pretty much the worst laptop to buy to for gaming or for any other thing out there it's only good for half an hour or one first one hour because of the heat sink that it's inside there's no fan there's no heat pipe and pretty much it's really shitty thing from inside it's pretty much i would say it's a tablet uh, motherboard with a bigger screen so and this is a lenovo idea pad uh, 110 that's the model number so let's go ahead and open it up and show you guys what's inside so i'm gonna put this down here all right first thing let's go ahead and remove all the screws on the bottom side i already removed it so Go ahead and remove everything, all the screws that you see. Once you remove all the screws, grab your, put your finger in between this plastic thing and just pull it apart. This is in case if you want to install a, a extra CD-ROM uh, or DVD-ROM. But if you do install your DVD-ROM, you won't be able to grab this face on the top part and locate it on top of your DVD-ROM so you get nice even curvature on the side. So pretty much if you do put uh, your bare bone DVD ROM there, you will not be able to cover it up to give nice looking to it. So they should have given two piece item here so you could detach this one from this plastic and put it over your CD ROM in case you want to put it. That's one thing. Next you want to remove the three, three screws that are located on the bottom of the DVD ROM. Once you did that, you want to grab a guitar pick and you want to put your guitar pick right on the corner of the hinge on the laptop in the corner just like that and pull it apart just bend it and it will just open do the same thing for the other end put it right there and then just bend it and put it a little bit more to this corner there. once you open it like that both of side both side put it down and now you can go ahead and grab it grab from the middle and just pull it out slowly just move it up and down slowly and it will come out eventually and this is the bottom side now here's the surprise part Pretty much you get a tiny puny motherboard here with a battery attached screwed right on the board on the plastic board if you want to remove the battery you have to unscrew these two screws the battery does come with a heat zone cable to reach to the motherboard and you got these really tiny speakers here that do go attached to the motherboard right there and you have your hard drive here to remove the hard drive you have to remove four screws two on each end right there once you remove it just slide the hard drive towards the outer side of the laptop and it will come out they have a low profile hard drive right now you can change this for a higher profile hard drive so that's that next so this is the problem here there's no heat sink there's no heat pipe just this tiny low gauge aluminium sheet or metal sheet right here 
So what it does, what happens actually after a few minutes, 25 minutes of the, running the laptop, this heat that is right there from the CPU is spreads over this aluminum sheet and there is no airflow, there is no fans to cool down to remove the heat away from the aluminum sheet. So what happens, the heat starts accumulating right inside this aluminum sheet and then the heat is going to prevent the CPU to cool down and then what you end up with uh, CPU throttling and freezing uh, or otherwise it could up to crash the computer. So pretty much this motherboard is only good for half an hour, one hour use and after that you have to turn it off for a few minutes to let it cool down the aluminum sheet and then put it up again. So let's go ahead and remove this heat sink so called. Remove the four screws and then just go ahead and lift it up. There we have. So this is a tiny aluminum sheet, really skinny, and it's supposed to grab the heat from this processor that is soldered on the motherboard, which is not replaceable unless you do a rewalling. And also, by the way, you uh, you cannot change the RAMs on this laptop, which are soldered on the board. So that's another. If you wanna, if you're thinking about upgrading your RAM or adding more RAM, there's nothing you can do here, or upgrading your CPU. Neither of those. And if you want to remove the motherboard, there's only one, two, three, and one screw right by the power jack. Once you remove this, you can just lift it up. There's not much in the other, other side. You got your LCD cable right there, your Wi-Fi board, your battery cable, your keyboard flex, and your audio. This is a mono audio. It's not even a stereo audio. So you only have one speaker, and this is just a plastic. There's nothing down. Let me show you guys on the camera. So the audio goes here. This is just a two cable for a mono audio. There's one speaker only. Here it's empty, there's nothing down here. So with this laptop you also only get let me see one USB three, one USB two, RJ45 cable connection and HDMI and power jack. And other than that, there is nothing else that you can use there is no USB port on the other side or nothing like that. This is what I call a really cheap laptop. So which I already put a thermal paste and thermal paste is just squeezed all around the CPU. I'm just gonna grab it from the surrounding. I'm gonna put it right in the middle. Right there. I don't want to go ahead and waste my thermal paste. Now we're going to go ahead and put the heat sink on. As there is not much I can show you guys. If you want to replace your motherboard, go ahead. I would not recommend you. If you have a dead motherboard, don't even waste your money to buy a new motherboard. It is not worth it for the set, for the price that you waste for on this laptop. You can get away better deals on Amazon or even eBay. Always, when you want to buy a laptop, always pay attention to the heat system on the heat sink. How is it? What kind of heat system they have? How many fans they have? Or even if they have a fan or not. People like uh, if. Think, see if you can remove upgrade RAMs or not. Don't just go for the how many gigs of hard drive you have. That doesn't matter. You can always upgrade hard drives. But the RAM or even the CD-ROM, if they don't give you a CD-ROM, you can attach it later. But what's the point if I cannot remove the plastic cover here to put it over my CD-ROM? All right, let's put, we have the hard drive in. Let's plug in the four screws.
event one more shittier thing ever is the keyboard if you spill something over the keyboard and you want to replace the keyboard good luck with that because if you buy the keyboard on ebay really cheap the keyboard does not install from the top part it comes from underneath and you have to actually go ahead and break every single of this plastic ribbon pressed here like a, it's a plastic melted you have to break those and remove this metal sheet away and then put the keyboard and then once you want to put the metal thing back on you don't have an, enough plastic left over to melt it back on so on mac versions or any macbook pro they do have this aluminum sheet on here but they come with like a 25 screws you can actually remove and put it back on so replacing a keyboard on mac is pain in the ass but at the end you can do it and redo it as many times you want but on this one it's just like a one time use only and after that you have to put a super glue or some kind of glue on it so you can actually hold the keyboard in place all right once we have the hard drive in we want to grab the bottom cover put the hinge side down first and then push the sides on the flat surface surface put it on the table and you want to hear kind of click sounds and that's it and then put the screws for the under the cd rom and put your plastic cover here and then start putting the screws on the bottom all the same size so you don't you can't go wrong with those any screw out the same length so put the screws and that's about it and this is pretty much a laptop tablet i'll call this they are okay for browsing the internet opening a few documents here and there but either than that for more than two hours you're gonna feel the heat and it, it is gonna or throttle and it's gonna slow down all right guys thanks for watching and i hope this video helped you guys to decide about the buying this laptop if you like the video or if you have any question thumbs up and ask your questions on the comments and uh if you guys subscribe i really appreciate it as it helps and motivates me to make more videos and to take requests from my subscribers thanks again